Alright, we got an incident involving Jeff Jarrett. He's on steroids. Fine. Yeah. Really? Ow. Really, Jeff? Fine. What kind of American Stern warning you? of... of not Find him. him. Just find him. We want money. Chris, you're, this, you're the decider. Do we find him or do we give him a certain warning? Um, you have to find him. Alright. It, it, it's, it's a unhappy. first offense with him. And it is time. People are not happy. He's not, he's not known to do that stuff. <laughs> Don't worry, because now we have money to pay them. Oh yeah, guys, look. Why are you are you best friends with Jeff Jarrett A today? Probably. You're angry. Get happy. Player, here's another thousand dollars to make you get happy. <laughs> he's still not happy. He's still not happy. You're not happy. Can you get happy? You're happy. Sting, you get happy about everything, so no you're not. Here's another thousand dollars. No you're not. Alright. Well Night for us tomorrow. And uh your boy Shark Boy lost, Lenny. No I think he should be sent back down to developmental. Well he already is back down to developmental, so we need him need to call him back up. But what do you what do you think? Shark Let's... Boy Let's try someone new. Let's try John Chana. No. The prototype is going to make his WCW debut? The prototype. WF Judgment Day. The prototype. Two man power trip. The Undertaker and Eddie. Ooh. Who, who are we going to call up this week from developmental? Mullins, how are you feeling? Uh, who we got on this list? Let's. First, let's meddle. Who's Let's meddle between Chavo and uh, the Lash Larue. Yeah, Lash Loretta. No effect. Uh, <laughs> Lash <very> Loretta. <laughs> All right, kicking um, off. Wait, bar show. go to go to borrow and see who's there. Her parents, the list Australia, consists of Larry, Brian Kendrick, Chris Hero, Chris Saban, Claudio, CM Punk, Drew Galloway, Eric uh -huh. Young, Fergal Davitt, Frank Kazarian, Jack Evans, Jamie Tucker. Jimmy Jacobs, Jerry Ryan, John Senna, Kyan Anderson, Kevin Steen, Mark Johnson, Matt Seidel, Paul London, PJ Black, Ricky Banderas, Samoa Joe, Shark Boy, that's a skinnier Samoa Joe, uh, Sanjay Dutt, TJ Perkins. Let's do Samoa Joe. Alright. Senor Joe, who's he gonna. Who's he gonna beat up? Alright, let's start off with Angle, though. So, kicking off, we're gonna have Ric Flair. And, um. Eric Bischoff. Eric Bischoff and Samoa Joe. <laughs> no. He's going to be like, give me a formidable opponent. And that's when the homicidal, suicidal, genocidal, you... death-defying Sabu will come out. And then Sabu will have to prove his worth against a monster named Samoa Joe. Hugh Morris. We need another tag team to bring up. <laughs> Did you say Hugh Morris against Sabu? That's actually not a bad idea. Humongous? Humongous, yeah. Actually, well, no, let's do Samoa Joe, yeah. We can do Samoa oh. Joe. Yep. Because, I mean, it's not and like he's going we'll to like, like gonna win, yeah. So. Alright. Put Hugh Morris there. Nah. At least it would do better than Samoa Joe. Uh, humongous, you mean? Yes. It's humongous. Humongous one. Now wait, go to developmental. Are we we got that straight. Let's try out Fergal. And what's CM Punk's weight? Dang it, Punk. Why you gotta be a little chubby? Wait, does Fergal work? Fergal yeah. Fergal works. Fergal. And <laughs> let's see. This is a stretch. Kevin Owens. Do you really I think that was? Do you really I think, don't know. You really think Kevin, 15, 16 year old Kevin Steen, is gonna fit the weight? Like, this is during Kevin Punk's Steen chubby versus thing. Shark Boy. Let's do um. Chris Hero versus Chris, Shark Chris Boy. Chris Saban. Chris Saban, Fergal Devitt. So we'll do an angle, and we'll have Chavo and Lash Leroux. They're gonna be into it backstage, and, and uh, your girl Tori Wilson's, you know. She's gonna be like, guys, 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 you need to talk out your. Why problems. is there no one on announcing, by the way? What do you mean? For and that angle, there was no one on announcing. 
It's better that way. <laughs> I just saw it like out of the corner of my eye. I was like, what the heck? It's better. Has there never been announced? So we're gonna get the uh, low slashers taking on the Ballard brothers. I mean the two man boy band, sorry, my bad. And um Furrow the Evan Crusade. I'm telling you, so one of these combinations of team is gonna win for developmental and it's just gonna be very awkward afterwards. It will be very awkward after. Uh, after that, because then they would kind of like deserve a tag title match. After that, DDP is gonna do some yoga with Big Kev. We're gonna make sure you don't tear that quad <laughs> again, big boy. Big boy. <laughs> <laughs> I just imagine DDP is like this really, like. So he's gonna help him get in shape, and he's gonna take on uh. That seventies guy. That seventies guy. And just have him dominate <laughs> yeah and then we'll do a quick angle where rvd is backstage with lance storm just keep these S angles up sabu and lance storm <laughs> <laughs> they're gonna be driving in a van down trying lance to find storm, the wrestling look. ring lance storm look we found another friend oh, of yours found a homeless from guy <laughs> all right and we're gonna do um Mott brown and shane oh, vampire warrior will be taking on uh Shane O'Hare. Shane O'Hare. Do you want to Rick Steiner instead? Or Shane Douglas? No. I like Shane O'Hare. Alright, good. Because I think main and event should have be... that a fatal four-way main event. Alright. Then we'll do a quick thing real quick. Um, we're, we'll have... Let's see. Lower mid-card guy. You can get like this... Uh, Kid Romeo. Kid Romeo. Uh... We'll be, flirting, well we'll be flirting with Miss Jones. Yeah, that works. Five minutes. Entertainment. Sex appeal. And then uh, Fatal 4-Way main event, you said? Yes. Fatal 4-Way main event. We'll do your boy DDP, your boy Ric Flair, and your boy Rick Steiner and Shane Douglas. And if anyone can pen the nature boy. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, got a guaranteed shot, maybe. I don't know. It depends if we remember. That's how wrestling Depends works. if we feel like it. Depends if we feel like it. So we need seven more minutes, so yep. let's throw in one mid card match. Let's throw in one more mid card match. Monty Brown against Kid Romeo. Oh. Romeo, Romeo, where are you thou, Romeo? Gonna be killed by Monty Brown. Get beat That's up. where Romeo is. Alright. Perfect. Perfect. Kicking well, off our show. Up. Eric Bischoff is out there. Ric Flair is out there. Ric Flair is like... Surprisingly well for Samoa Joe. Slapping his chest over and over. Ric Flair is like, wow! Ric Flair is like, I'm the champion still. No one can touch me. And Bischoff's like, I, I, I got a monster for you. And Ric Flair is like, you know what? You bring out your monster and then Samoa Joe comes out and he's like, ugh, Samoans. And then Bischoff's like, what you don't like him flair's like i got a guy who's bigger and better than him out comes humongous humongous is like i'm gonna take you places smojo's like whoa she i mean i before. i know what you've done before with tori wilson backstage and i i'm gonna kill i don't want I'm any a, part of that i'm gonna kill joe kill so there's that your boy humongous beats him with a moonsault Ooh. After that, Chavo Guerrero and Lash Lorel. Lash Lorel is having a great time. I like to think he looks just like that, by the way. Tori yeah. Wilson's backstage. She's like, I'm backstage. With... Why does every female announcer <laughs> start with those words? <laughs> every angle they're in. I'm backstage. I'm back it's cold. Backstage. It's cold. And we didn't pay our AC this week. But we're backstage, and we got this. I don't pay for the taxes. Ride. Don't pay for taxes. Uh, Chavo's out there. He's like, Mom Sita. And last row, he's like, you look nice. Chavo's like, ah, stop it. You're ruining my time with Miss Tori. She said, oh, don't. Stop kidding. Last row's like, you look nice. Chavo's like, like, Chavo's like, like no. let's get to the point tonight, all right? It's me, it's this doofus over here, it's our titles, but uh, 
We need, we need active competition. We need a, a good pair of guys that your shoulders must take be really red after recording these videos, considering <laughs> how many times you slap them. Between between Chavo, the titles, Flair, who else? <laughs> Oh, uh, there was another player again, 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 and again. Yeah, but Sean was like, we need a good set of guys to take us on for the titles. Uh, on a side note, if we can wait another year, we can get Alex Shelley and Chris Saban from Motor City Machine Guns. Uh, but La Lewis Lashers able to get the win over two-man boy band and Chris Saban for Ogle Devitt. Hey, they did good in the ring. They did good. Welcome to wrestling. After that, your boy, uh, we have a little vignette where Kevin Ash is left foot, right foot. Left foot, right foot. Ring the doorbell. DDP Crane opens up the door. Ke Kevin Nash leans against the side of the door. He's like, hey, remember that whole insider thing we did? DDP's like, yeah. He's like, I need your help. DDP's like, what up, brother? He's like, you know how you're doing that yoga thing? DDP's like, I mean, it's not nationwide yet, but I'm on your side. And Kevin Nash's like, great, I need your help. And so they do yoga together. After that, uh, Kevin Ash takes on that 70s guy, shows off the power of yoga with that jackknife power bomb. After that, uh, we have another <laughs> The wonderful segment. car segment we with have, Profit. Damn. We have RVD and Lance Storm. Um, clearly, Lance Storm is driving. RVD's in the back. And okay, they're, they're driving. They're like, where is this night show arena at? And they pick up this homeless guy named Sabu. And they're like, hey, dude, let's have some fun. So... We know how that goes. After that, your boy Sean O'Hare takes on Vampire Warrior. Vampire Warrior get with the uh, surprising victory. So after that, Kid Romeo's backstage with Miss Jones. He's like, "I love you, Miss Jones." Like Romeo, Romeo, where art thou, Romeo? And then he's like, "I'm right here." She's like, "Boy, go run a wrestling match for me." So he goes and takes on Monty Brown. And he loses. And then she comes out, and she's like, ugh. I only like winners. All right, and then after that, our main event, we see Ric Flair. Wow! Getting the win over Rick Steiner with that pinfall. Ooh, that pinfall, though. Show, 70. Same thing as last week. 31 plus. Used Samojo far too much. But you know what? They didn't care about Virgil Devin or Chris Saban. So, we're doing pretty great. If you ask me. Wait, was Shark Boy in the show? No, Shark Boy. How did you not know we didn't book Shark Boy? How's Why did you not book Shark Boy? Well, you weren't he's back down to developmental. He failed. You weren't paying attention. So, all right. Your boy failed us. Humongous said, "Fire Kid Romeo." Ric Flair said, "Fire." No, Kid Romeo. our boy did not fail us. You failed the boy. No, the boy failed us. All right, everybody's coming in tomorrow for Latin World Order. And that will take us up to uh, Slam.